Okay. This week's fake little recipe is very low in effort, very high in reward. If you don't have a lot in the pantry or fridge and you don't have a plan for dinner, make this. The only ingredients you'll need are onions and long pasta, plus big little staples, butter, salt, and pepper. So the first step is thinly slicing our onions. Now we are using one and three quarter pounds of yellow onions for half a pound of pasta. So over three times the weight in onions as pasta. This sounds nuts, I get it, especially if you're serving two people, which in our house this often does. It seems like a obscene amount of onion to start, but when you cook it down and they start to caramelize and get jammy, it really doesn't seem like that much anymore. It seems very reasonable when you give them enough time in the skillet. If you have any tricks for how to not cry while you're cutting almost two pounds of onions, let us know in the comments. It would have come in handy. It was really, it's not too bad. It's not too bad today. Maybe it's the cold. Our onions are all halved, peeled, thinly sliced, Maybe you've had a jammy caramelized onion pasta before. You know how good it is. It's savory, it's sweet. This one is going to take a slight pivot, turn at this point. Instead of throwing all of these in our pan and sauteing them with butter, yum, we are going to take a tiny bit of the onions and mince them. We need about two tablespoons of mince. Doesn't need to be perfect. Just like two spoonfuls of minced raw onion. This is gonna come in handy later. It makes a huge difference. So I'm just gonna pull out a small bit and just run my knife through it a little bit more. We are all ready to start sauteing our onions. So I'm getting two tablespoons of salted butter I like salted here because the flavor is a little bit deeper and different. If you only have unsalted, that's okay. You'll just want to season a little more aggressively. I'm going to season these with salt and pepper. I know the butter is salted, but it doesn't, it can't totally carry itself. So it needs a little bit more assistance and Black pepper is so nice with sauteed onions because it uh, adds a little kick to keep that sweetness in check. These are gonna go for 25 to 35 minutes total. This is not a total caramelization. That could take even longer, sometimes up to an hour. So while these are doing their very hard work, this is a great time to like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel so we can cook even more big little recipes together. So our onions have been going for a little over 30 minutes. They, you can come see, they are golden. Not like super, super deeply caramelized, but quite soft, quite jammy. And honestly, it's about how they taste. I'm just gonna grab a little one. Yum, very yum. It has the like deep sweetness of an onion that has been leisurely sauteed. At this point, I would be happy to eat this right now. I'm going to drop it to the absolute lowest heat on my stove to let these keep warm, keep cooking a little bit, but I don't have to worry about them burning. Now we have a pot of water that is coming to a boil. So we're basically ready to cook our pasta and finish our dinner. Now that our water is boiling, I am seasoning it very generously with salt. 
I am using fettuccine. I like how flat it is. And thin. You can use whatever long pasta you happen to have around or you love. Spaghetti, bucatini, ramen. It is your onion buttered noodles. Do what's calling to you. The only shape that I would not recommend for our sauce, our onion butter sauce, is a like a short chunky shape. This gets along better with a long noodle that you can twirl, the onions can cling to it, and you can kind of swirl everything together. So, I mean, it would be fine if you only have rigatoni, if you really want the sauce, it would be fine. But I do recommend a longer noodle if you happen to have it. So our pasta is all done. I'm gonna use tongs to transfer it to our onions. And if you are wondering when the heck is that raw onion gonna come into play? It's right now. So we had our onions sauteing in butter, onion butter. And now we are going to add raw onion and more butter. So we're using the same two ingredients, but we are getting really different dimensions of each one. Okay, I think I got it all. So I'm adding four tablespoons of butter. I just cubed it up to help it melt a little bit better, but you don't have to. And the two tablespoons of minced raw onion. And we didn't drain our pasta water on purpose. I'm starting with a quarter cup. We might add more, we're gonna see what happens. Now the raw onion here, we have a lot of butter, great, yum, very cozy. We have a lot of sweet, savory, sauteed, caramelized onions. The raw onion, even the tiniest amount, I mean, if you've eaten raw onion, you know, it's like, bam, it's like really intense. It kind of like, like if you put it on a bagel, you only need a few slices. It's having a similar uh, power prowess here. Butter is totally melted, that is great. But I do want this sauce to be a little bit uh, looser. So I'm gonna add some more water. I'll start with just maybe, I don't know, a couple tablespoons. You don't have to be too precious about this part. Really go by sight and feel, but just keep in mind that when you sit down, the pasta will uh, thicken. So you wanna get it just like a hair looser than you would enjoy eating it. Okay, fact check me on this. When was the last time I said that we don't need more salt? I don't know, we don't need it though, it's perfect. Our, our pasta water was really seasoned. When we were pulling that in, it was seasoning it further. We seasoned the onions, the butter is salted, it is perfect. I do think I'm gonna add just like the tiniest bit more pepper, just a little. Okay. You could eat this just like this, and I encourage you to, especially the first time you make this recipe. This is so cozy, it's so comforting. The flavor is so deep, even though we only have two Two ingredients in the sauce, butter, onions. I mean, how? But if you wanna just take it a little bit step further, if you're feeling a little bit extra, maybe you have something in the fridge you wanna use up, you can add one or two things to this, make the dish feel even fuller and more exciting. You could add fresh herbs, you could add grated cheese, toasted nuts, sesame seeds is really, really nice. It's got like some bagel energy that I love. Today, I'm going to show you three combos that I really love, and then let me know in the comments how you would dress this up, if you wanna dress it up. Toasted walnuts and grated pecorino, fresh dill and lemon zest, snipped chives and chili flakes. These are our onion buttered noodles. I love this recipe so much. I can't wait to hear what you think about it. This is actually our last one for 2021. Make sure you check out the site, food52.com next week. I am going to be sharing our most popular big little recipes of the entire year. We are going to be taking a tiny break in the new year to dream up 
recipes with even bigger flavor and littler ingredient lists. Can't wait to see you then.